Uh, hey guys, at Nor, my messy hair. I'm going to fix it later, and today you are getting two videos, because uh, today's a really exciting day. Because something um, is exciting for multiple reasons. Number one, un is just the fact that, like, I have dance, like, later on today, and I love dance a lot, like, that's all we got signing. Number two, I don't have to plan out the second video today because I'll explain why in a minute. And number three, in, um, number three, there's actually a lot of reasons why today is that signing. And number three, I get an excuse to just, like do makeup and like just like pull out my good makeup and have some fun. Because I love that sort of excuse. And number four is that I get to work with a real, with actually a, a very famous hip-hop teacher, or a very well-known hip-hop teacher guy, grew. And I'm really excited about that because I love hip-hop and I love, like, I dance so much and I love getting to work with, like, new teachers and stuff, it's just a lot of fun, um, because I feel like with new teachers, it gives me a challenge, a good challenge. I'm the type where I like to impress people. I like to impress, like, dance teachers and stuff, because that's not a bad thing. And so whenever I get, like, a new, like, I, when I get to work with, like, a new teacher, uh, it's, like, a different experience every time. And that's a lot of fun, but also because it gives me that challenge. I'm like, I am, I just like go into like a specific like mood to where I just work extra hard to like try to really wow them and like do my best. And even though that's kind of me in every dance class and just in life, you know, it's always fun to like be able to do it with a new teacher. And then the fifth reason today is an exciting day is I get to hang out with, like, a bunch of famous people on Zoom. And then the sixth and final reason, actually the list can go on and on, but the sixth reason is because today I am doing the ALVC spring thing. And that's exciting because two things can happen. Well, one definitely happening, the other may not happen. But the thing that may happen is potentially, like, Abby talked about how they're filming a TV show. The first casting episode or something for a TV show. And that's really exciting. She did not, she did not say if the Zoom kids were included or not. So, like, potentially, like, TV show. And, like, the Zoom kids are included in it, like, and, like, we get, like, seen or something that's really cool and exciting of, like, being on TV. But I don't think that's happening. I don't think the Zoom people are included. But I'm really excited because I still get to see, like, behind-the-scenes work of, um, like, filming, like, a TV show. And I'm, I'm getting a bunch of dance classes and stuff. So, like, that's really cool either way to, like, be able to see behind the scenes stuff. Because that's a lot of fun. And, like, I have, like, I generally do not think some kids are going to be on the TV show. I know in-person kids will be. Because Abby talked about how, like, the in-person kids, like, their parents have to sign, like, a waiver thingy so they can, like, film and stuff like that, but it's really exciting and to, like, just be able to, like, take a dance class and, like, that's not why I'm, like, doing, like, my makeup or anything. I'm doing it because I was thinking about it and I'm, like, I, today, I want to make it fun. And I feel like there's no harm in me having some fun with some makeup and hair and just having fun. That way I get a video. 
and I get to have fun with, like, doing, like, my hair and my makeup, because, plus, if it turns out good, I can take a couple, like, Instagram photos, and I just went, like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it, like, have some fun, <laughs> because, for me, I feel like I get so caught up in, like, I training and, like, just trying to, like, I just really do the best that I can. But, like, having a little bit of, like, extra fun is just going to be exciting for me. So, yeah. And I went, like, and I can kind of use it as, like, an excuse and to, like, just have it for fun. So, like, I can be, like, well, if that way I look presentable if, like, there's some very, like, big if, like, they sound like the Zoom people. I look presentable and not a hot mess. Also, I get to have fun, okay? So I want to, like, I'm going to film, like, a get ready video. I'm going to film that later. Or, but now, I want to, like, just kind of chat with you and stuff. Because I really want to film right now. About how, like, I'm just really happy. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. And, like, right now, I'm... I mean, like, for me, I love an excuse to just look like a pop star. What I mean by that is, like, I love an excuse to, like, I just, I'm the type where I just love to, like, do my hair and makeup and not, like, do, like, a normal, like, everyday, like, oh, it's, like, normal everyday makeup. That's not me. I don't like, like, natural colors. Or that's not in my book. In my book, um, we're going multiple colors. We're going in a lot of glitter. We're going super, like, bold and fun. That I love. But I don't like using my petite and pretty makeup unless it's, like, more of, like, a special occasion. And by that, I mean I use it once for a dream tour. And today, it's going to be fun to, like, use it again. And also... Like, I feel like when I feel like I'm, when I have, when I look, uh, super colorful and I look like I would want myself to look as a pop star, you know, like, I feel like I just do better. And I feel like confidence-wise, I do better dance-wise, I do better, and I feel like, I seriously just love doing that because I also feel like I do better overall. What I mean by that is, like, I'm hard on myself. I'm a perfectionist. If I make one mistake in dance, I blow up at myself in my head. And that, like, my entire, like, future of becoming a pop star is, like, done for over that one little mistake. I know that's, that's not a great thing to do. It works for me. It's just me being a perfectionist, and as much as sometimes um, I tell myself I'm not going to do that today, like, today I'm going to take a dance class, and I'm going to have fun with it, and I always have fun with it, but sometimes the perfectionist side of me just kicks in whether or I tell it to or not, and that's not a bad thing because it never brings me down. It just makes me fix my mistakes. And it makes me really aware of, like, my mistakes so I can fix them. Them and stuff. So it's not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing. But I feel like when I look how, like, I want to look as a pop star, I feel like that perfectionist side of me or that side of me that, like, I like to be perfect and is a perfectionist is, like, gone. It's, like... And it's not that, like, I'm fixing the mistakes and gone. It's just, like, I, it just, like, it, I can't even really explain it. It's just, like, a lot of fun to, like, just feel like I, I'm a pop star. Like, even though I'm not a pop star yet. And even though I am, right now, I am trying to come up with a new song. Because I really want to post, like, a new song or more than one. But I have not figured 
I can't think of it out in my head. It's like, there was a concept I really liked. And then I couldn't come up with lyrics for the concept that I actually liked. And it, what I mean by that is that I'm picky with music. I'm picky with songs that I put out there. And, and so now it's like I'll go over a song in my head 40 times before I'm like, is it good? Is it okay? Could it be better? Like, and then it's like, I'm just picky. So, like, I don't put out a lot of music too much anymore because I'm so picky. And then it's also, like, the thing of, like, I can just everything. Like, so I literally told myself, I'm, like, I, I'm giving myself a time limit. And if I'm going to say I'm giving myself two more weeks, and if within the next two weeks I do not have a concept and the startup lyrics that, like, I'm in 100% in love with, then I'm going to I'm figure out something. I'm going to work something out. Like, I, I feel like giving myself that time limit is just going to make me put something out there that I feel like it's going to turn out good. I feel like I have a lot of great ideas for songs. It's just I'm so picky with them that I overlook some of them. And so, yeah. It can be great to like, and I'm not saying in two weeks, like, I get, I'm posting a new song. No, but like, I'll have like a start of one going. Hopefully. I say hopefully because I know that like, there's a chance that that may not happen. It depends. It really depends on multiple things. Number one, on dance schedule. Like, and number two being, like, it just depends on what's going on in my life. And, like, if it's even possible. Because, uh, truth be told, my dance schedule changes week by week. And what I mean by that is with pop-up classes. And sometimes it doesn't, but, like, I never fully know. But tonight, it's going to be a later night of dance because it goes until after 9. And for me, that's kind of a late night. What I mean by that is in our house, like anything that is past 7.30 is considered a late night. And it just so happened I lucked out with something. And, and I'm so happy that I lucked out with it, which is I really, like... I, me and my parents are planning, and my dog Sam, I don't know, oh, he might be asleep, they are planning to watch Kid Choice Awards that night, and I wasn't sure what day it was on, and then my dad told me, like, what day it's on, it's on a Saturday, or day, and I lucked out with that so well, because it doesn't start until, like, 7-something, I think around 7 and, and it goes until, like, 9.30 or something. But I'm done with dance before then. So, like, if I even have dance that day. So, like, I lucked out with that. Because I was seriously going to skip dance. If, like, it was on a day where I, where my dance schedule, like, interfered with it. And that's because I tell myself, like, training to be a pop star comes first. But I also, and it really comes, I do feel like it does come before a lot of fun, extra things. But I feel like the, like, Kid Choice Award is one of the things that's coming first. And I say that because the amount of votes I have put in, and the amount that I'm still putting in, So, and I'm not even halfway done with that. And what I mean by that is, is I buckled down hard the last week. It's like, I constantly, like, vote again. And I constantly just keep the vote going. So, I'm hoping that thing will work out. Like, well, I'm not hoping that thing will work out completely. Well, but I lucked out with that. But I wanted to, like, film this and, like, chat with you about it. And I also, because I wasn't going to have a ton of time 
to like explain in later video because I'm gonna be focused on getting like ready hair makeup like and I'm doing it all I'm not a makeup artist but I feel like I'm pretty decent at makeup like I can do a makeup look that that's kind of different kind of bold but looks good and I just can't tell you, like, the specifics of, like, names of things. Like, I can't tell you, like, this is a, a makeup brush. It's, a, like, 40 or, like, I can't tell you, like, specifics. But I feel like I'm pretty decent at makeup. Oh, wait. That's why I forgot to do today. Hey, I'll do it tomorrow. It's fine. I, I forgot to use my petite and pretty skincare set, but fine, I'll use it tomorrow, because today is glam up, have fun. Um, and so, like, I'm very excited about today, like, today, like, it's just gonna be fun. Um, and I feel like I'm excited to, like, just do, like, hair and makeup and stuff, because truthfully, only, like, I don't really, like, I'm, like, I have a bad habit. I'm, like, I'm, I'm brushing my hair constantly, making it look, like, amazing constantly, like, that. not me. I'm very lazy with my, with, like, brushing my hair, that sort of thing. But I feel like I do it enough to make it work. And so sometimes when I get to, like, add a little glitter to it, it's, like, yes. So, yeah, like, right now I want to, like, film and, st and stuff. So, yeah, like, that, it's just, like, I feel like I, I have a very exciting life. And I say this because it's true. Uh, and generally, I still say this, that, like, literally, if I had my crush, my life would be perfect. And I say that, like, yes, there's, like... I, for me, perfect doesn't mean not having a little, like, here and there thing in life. Like, life happens, and it's not all, like, perfect, but I feel like my dream life, I'm, and I say that, like, my life is amazing, because it is. Like, I think about it, and I'm, like, I'm lucky enough to uh, train on Worldwide Zone. And use that as, like, my dance training. I'm lucky enough to, like, I get, like, to have, like, professional people who know what they're talking about. First off, like me, but also train me in, as a dancer. And then, like, on top of that, I'm lucky enough to, like, I, I go... Like, I'm lucky enough to, like, be able to, like, write songs and, like, work on, like, singing that sort of thing and, like, post it for you guys. I'm lucky enough to do social media and to, like, hang out with famous people, like, on Zoom all the time. Like, literally, the amount of, like, famous people that I have hung out with is just mind-blowing amazing. Like, on Zoom, like, I feel like I'm very happy with it. Also, like, I'm lucky enough to, like, go to concerts, that sort of thing. Like, my entire life is, like, so much fun, and I feel like when I'm not, like, when I'm taking all of that, and, like, I'm just looking at, like, outside of that sort of thing, I'm, like, hanging out with Sam, that situation. That all was pretty good, too, like, hanging out with Sam, playing with him, you know, like, that situation. Relation. Like, my entire life, I feel like, it's just, it's amazing. And that's great. And that's just generally great. And, like, Abby talked about something one day. And truthfully, what had happened was we were getting ready for our, like, Saturday, like, pop-up class. And I logged on, like, 30 minutes early, and she was, like, going over one of her ALDC dancer solos, and she said something to them, and this stuck with me. Confidence sells 
13. So when you walk on, like, if you run off stage at a competition, and if you run off stage, and they know you messed up. Uh, because uh, if you had nailed your routine and done amazing, you would have not run off stage, like, freaking out. Like, oh, I just messed up. You would be walking off, off like nothing happened and it was a good routine. She was like, confidence sells a routine. The more confident you are, the more your routine does. And that's true, I'm always confident. Like, I took that and I'm like, well, that fits me pretty good because I'm always confident. Like, literally, I feel like sometimes I have enough confidence for everyone on Zoom and more. And have, like, a lot left over for me, like. And that's, that's good. And I feel like I'm very, I'm very confident, but I'm also very hard on myself, and I'm very strict in myself. Um, and I think about everything. What I mean is I think about every little thing I do. Like, I... And that, like, just kind of works out, like, especially when I'm, like, dancing or something. Because we dance, there's so many mistakes that could be made. But if I think about it and I'm aware of, like, what comes next, I'm like, I, oh, like, this could happen or this could happen, like, then I feel like I just, like, I feel like it helps me, like, not make as many mistakes or really... Focusing and knowing what's next. So I'm going to say peace out.